So the three critical aspects of writing are register variation, process orientation, and interpersonal function. Register variation refers to the fact that written language varies according to the social context, purpose, and audience. We saw the example of how the language choice has to be different depending on whether you're talking about your research to a friend or introducing your research to a professional audience of journal readers. Process orientation refers to the fact that writing requires multiple drafts. We saw how this idea has really been pushed forward and played out through the introduction of word processing in the writing process. In the U.S. and some other countries, this started in the 1980s. Third, interpersonal function refers to the fact that writing builds identity and relationships. Professor Kotos emphasized that register variation is very important for teachers to understand. Written language varies according to the social context, purpose, and audience. So communication functions are connected to language form. In other words, the language which forms that a student chooses for a particular paper should be justified. In other words, choices should be made on the basis of the communication functions that the student is trying to perform. This has an implication for the way we set up assignments. Students need to have an idea of who they are writing to and what the function is for. Teachers should draw students' attention to the connection in examples. Professor Kotos pointed out that writing should start by looking at examples of other written work that performs the same function as that that the student is trying to perform. The second important point that Professor Kotos brought up is that writing is a process. The process orientation has had a massive impact on the way we teach writing because writing requires multiple drafts from students, and the process of developing a particular writing assignment has to consist of multiple phases. For example, many of our writing assignments are carried out through a process of taking the students through a planning process, a drafting process, revising, editing, and proofreading. This is a much different model of writing than is the idea of students coming and sitting for a half an hour and writing words on a page that are then marked by the teacher. And it's interesting from our perspective in this course because this process is really carried out with a variety of uses of technology. And we're going to show you some examples of those in a few minutes. The third important aspect of writing is that it is personal and social. Writing is not only for expressing ideas, it is also for expressing the writer's identity, and it is for establishing and maintaining social relationships. So writing carries a lot of functions simultaneously because it is for expressing ideas, but it also has these interpersonal functions as well. In addition, she points out that achieving these interpersonal uses of English can be very satisfying to students, but it is also difficult. So a person can create a polite, sophisticated, sarcastic, or pessimistic identity in English. But in order to do so, the person needs to control the language in order to create the proper identity 